Hello, everybody. It's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars Plane as our Rio, or Brazilian Mining Consortium, in the last video. We got out of the Founders phase, but we're now dealing with some issues when it comes to power. Um, we have a bit of a power fall off right now. I do think I'm going to need to build some more uh, large wind turbines and whatnot. I'm bringing a bunch of materials in right now. Uh, let's actually make you a low priority uh, structure anyway. And you guys. When do I have eight? Ugh. Um, you guys like. Let's turn you guys off at night. Resources are low. Yeah, we're very low on machine parts, but I'm bringing some up right now. I'm also bringing up a little bit of food just to kind of help um, people not starve. Up here, I do want to build a few buildings as well. Maybe even get a second dome set up. Uh, Research-wise, in the last video, we got quite a bit of stuff done. I've also queued up a bunch of things. We're doing Rover Command AI, so I can do automated exploring for the RC Explorer, RC Transport. Low-G turbines are going to help us increase power production. Low-G hydrosynthesis is going to help us make those polymers that we want. And, of course, the micro-manufacturing is going to queue up the electronics factory. Um, uh, hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll queue up the 3D machining as well. Sector scanned. Ooh. 427 rare metals available. Interesting. I may need to get a dome out that way if I want to be able to access all those materials. Uh, let's see. The building list is not working. Which one is it? Okay. Storage space is full on our concrete extractors. Let's go ahead and drop another concrete storage depot right down here. Yeah. I'll start getting things going, and I think doing that up here would work as well. Do another concrete depot. Put that there. Right. Rocket with a bunch of materials on board. I'm still trying to trade off some of my concrete for food, but nothing doing right now with it. Um, oh, here we go. IMM's willing to send some of that over. I'll take absolutely a ton of food. All right. Now, from here... Uh, ooh, wait a minute. Before I go too far, I brought over a bunch of electronics, which I kind of screwed up on that. Just ignore that part of it. Um, because this here, the high-speed comm satellite, takes 100 of everything. So I'm just going to do that. And I did also notice, uh, I filmed the first two videos in this series right back-to-back -back with each other. For Brazil, we should... I think have two rockets to start with. I only have one right now, and I think that's something going on with the game. And I may, um, I'm probably gonna need to put that one into the, uh, put that into the paradox notes. Like, hey, this doesn't work. You need to go back and fix this. I'm gonna put another dome up here, and I think this is gonna be a barrel dome up to here, and then another uh, regular dome over that way. So let's get working on a barrel dome. Um, Oh, wow, you can actually do most of that without uh, without actually bringing those things over. That's kind of interesting. So, small dome, moxie, two vaporators, a water tower, oxygen, food, and bison cables. Interesting. You can still build this, a self-sufficient dome, without all the materials. I wasn't expecting that. Let's also figure out where our drone controller is. Um, this is... Let's actually build up those storages that I was thinking about. I think I'll put them on this side. Cool. So we now have those depots down. Soul 16 coming up now. Uh, power's still a bit of an issue at the moment, unfortunate on that. Uh, nothing else being scanned out. I think maybe another tower up here would be a good idea. Yeah. Right there looks pretty good. Let's pop down our next sensor tower, kind of in this area. You've got the materials on board. You've got the people to do it. Rare metals refinery. Way on waste rock of all things. We're burning through the waste rock very quickly. And I've only got 12 
rare metals going at the moment. I'm not even sure how much I've exported total. 15, 16. I've, ex I've exported 16 so far. There's a, some flat research available there. That will knock out Rover Command AI very quickly. And it's going to reveal something else in the robotics tree. Hmm. I'm going to see what to do. What should be done next? I'm kind of thinking maybe the physics tree. I oh, already got it queued up. Whoops. And I only have, yeah, I got three network. I have three warning towers. I need to get that up as well. So that's my plan in this video. Uh, you are loading up with fuel. Oh, wow. We have no available fuel. Interesting. On the plus side, with this, um, that's going to give these guys more time to produce rare metals for me. Hmm. Research complete. It's a bit of an issue. Uh, ooh! Shuttle hubs now available. That's going to be helpful. Uh, we're going to queue up, like, uh, de decom protocol. Because I can't clear any of my, these buildings I don't want. Bit of a problem on my end. Uh, we're now able to unload the food. That's good. Let's going to make sure these guys can be okay for a while. These buildings, every time they shut down, it's just really making me think, like, oh god, what did I do? But no, it's just an issue of not doing that. Um, let's go away from rock. Guys, so yeah, the barrel dome can go up here, and I probably put a drone hub very close to it. So let's grab that barrel dome, get that prepped up. I'll do it there. It's right, it's barely in range. But 50, 20, and... Oh, seriously, how much? Oh! Right. Because uh, it's 100 metals going here. Sector scan. I dingest. Okay, that gives me a little more time. Put another one down here. Knowing full well that if I if any of these guys go offline, if these guys get hit, they're toast. Put one up there, and then maybe another... Uh, kind of may hold off on the next one. Maybe just do another one right next to this guy, maybe over here. Because I'm going to get to do deep scanning. And I do see there's a lot of metal available just for me to go collect. There's 44 there... 7, 45, 5, 30, 136 just sitting on the ground. There's plenty of materials for me to go get. It's a matter of just getting them and bringing them over. I do also acknowledge that I need to get that done sooner rather than later. Oh, wait. I have a, I have a notification here. There's, there's a little one behind my head on your screen, but did we spot an underground section? I don't think we found one yet, did we? Just gonna see which one I wanna upgrade first. Yeah, I'm gonna scan this to get low G turbines done. Sector scanned. And there's a key up. Actually, no. Grab the key first. And then we'll swing back the other way. Yeah, it says there's I have a notification here. But I can't see it. Hmm. And I don't think I've got the recon center available yet. I found the elevator. Ooh. That's an issue, though. 80, 10, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm going to do this way, because I want to get the electronics factory and the 3D machining done up. Because... I 
once the um bugger, Steve, think. Anomaly analyzed. Until today, the only place Damn, it's just money. I really hoped it would be something different. Okay, we got plenty of food now. That's good. So I could probably do like a food for uh... Today was a tough one. We lost one of our founders. Wow, Soul 18. Already had a death, like one natural cause death in the colony. That seems a little rare. Alright, I got one left. Let's go ahead and bring them down here. I think I'm going to build that last one in this spot. That's actually technically an unexplored sector as well. My thoughts on that idea is when, not if, we get the... Ah, poopy. Okay. It got partially scanned, but of course this thing will just cause massive problems. So we're blue in the face. 17 rare metals. This is just waiting on fuel. I'm just gonna turn one of these guys off. Sector yeah. scan. A little bit of extra uh, food. Very helpful. I'm actually gonna switch this over to a straight landing rocket. Yeah. I'm not even doing trades with that stuff right now. But we'll go ahead, we'll do that, and I'll send uh, this rover, or my RC commander, to grab those last things. He's now completely set up, so we're going to do a transport route, grabbing all this fancy stuff, and bring it back over to Nya. Oh, wait, did he not grab... Okay, they grabbed one of the metals over here. Awesome. Come down here, please. Yeah, it's a little it's a little weird that we have there's a number there and I may need to move my logo out of the way. But Sheldon BD10 has is 20 hours left until it's out of range, which is totally fine. Resources are low. Not even sure what happened on that. Okay. Pack up. Finish scanning that. This guy's going to fill up the metals Sector and go up this scan. way. What do we got? Ooh, an eyeball. I haven't gotten one of the... I don't know if I've gotten an eyeball so far this playthrough. There's definitely the concern of... Oh, once this dome comes online, there's definitely going to be a concern about uh, power. Yeah, he's fine. Research complete. The anomaly turned out to be one of the most well preserved <laughs> asteroid impacts in our area. This is the second time no I've gotten this. Could ever put a price on it. And again, this is based on the hotfix from September 13th. I don't think we've gotten all these things. Uh, I, I think they're still working as of this recording to get some of these fixes done up. So 3D machines now halfway done. Awesome. Uh, there is the interplanetary project stuff. I'm not going to be focusing much on terraforming for a while. My goal really is to get the colony up and running sufficient, or self-sustaining, and then go from the... In Wait a minute. Where's storage compression? Usually storage compression is in this area that would make things easier to do. Hmm. Fascinating. Not seeing it yet. There's the hospital for emergency training. School spire. Looks like a lot of these things came in the social spire. Ooh, underground dome construction. But note, you need 40 of those exotic uh, things, exotic metals, to do that. I guess I'll queue up the micro-G vehicles and the cave and stuff. Once that is located, once that thing is found... We essentially have to build an outpost over there to power the elevator. The elevator's 80 concrete, 20 metals, and 10 machine parts. Another reason we need to get those machine parts up and running sooner rather than later. These metals are being dropped off, which is great because these guys are just running them right on through instead of just going around the building. Okay. Right, 75 Sector 100 scan. fuel. Ooh, another key up there. That's helpful. More 
metals on the ground. So don't need to worry too much about the metal trade. It was more just getting the AI up and running. Or the Rover AI, Rover Command AI. All right, what do we got here? Go ahead, move you on to the next spot. We found signs of native life. Hmm, okay. So 50 applicants or 500 million in funding. I guess I'll take the applicants in a situation like this. No, still have not found that underground passage. I hope I find it soon. Oh, we got another our second dome coming online. That dome needs some of the power. But thankfully, passages are built instantly and without cost. So there's that. All right. Let's actually view the message for this, because this is the first time I've had this one. The asteroid has continued its long trajectory, a long as trajectory moved out of range, we will no longer be able to reach it with asteroid landers, and everything left behind on the asteroid in its orbit are now lost. So, small loss on our end. All right. Again, if I'm not mistaken, I'm supposed to have two rockets. So, I'm not going to be able to bring people up until this mission's done, and I'm absolutely doing this mission first. It's an issue of Anomaly getting the things done. The analysis tells us that we found yeah. the sulfides. Physics That's text reduced. There's... Dome bioscaping and Logi engineering is done. Hey. And these are, this is not 20%, because this has come up now twice. Again, this is one of those glitches that we had uh, before the first hotfix went through. Uh, dome bioscaping, so that's always good. I'm just going to keep plugging away on uh, 3D machining, and I am going to go ahead and outsource. Just to get some of this stuff processed a little faster. Wait a second. I'm actually going to put Logi Hydrosynthesis up at the top because I need another fuel refinery. Um, this is able to produce... Wait. Wait, what? Hang on a second. Where's my water demand going here? Oh, this needs water, this needs water, this needs water. Gotcha. So it's one, three, five water. I may need to build a second extractor here, or put another drone hub down and go out this way. Let's actually see. Can I has drone hub? I can't put it right there. Not enough power on that, unfortunately. It would be able to work a couple of those things. If I build on the other side, it would absolutely be able to work those things. Sector scan. That's fine. Shut this dome off. And you come up here, please. Yeah, power is going to continue being a problem. Oh, wait. Upgrade these guys with polymer blades. Let's get that done right away. And you are going to come back closer to the base until we figure out what we want to do with you next. Physics tech tree. The next one I uh, research down here. Which will be deep scanning. We'll get that knocked out real fast, too. I'll keep this dome offline because obviously we don't need it at the moment. One power. Getting a lot of concrete. Let's uh let's see if we can do like concrete or I know nobody will ever do it. But let's see if anybody decides to nibble on these ideas. Nope, nobody on that. Polymers are always helpful, especially when we need to upgrade our power turbines. Wow, not much of an upgrade too. Nobody on that one. Switch that back over. Research complete. Alright, so now we can build another fuel refinery. That's good. Boop. Alright, we have ten left, so we can launch one another Sector day. Scanned. I also only have ten days to get a hmm. No. Lots of metal available. It's just a matter of, hey, hey, going to collect it all. In fact, I'm just going to automate you. There he goes. 
I do see an opportunity for another dome over here for mining. Over here for mining. There may be. It's definitely going to be an issue of what I can get with the deep. Um, oh. Mm, door to summer. Okay. So this is just a bunch of rich folks. I've had this one before. The su Eternal Summer Rocket will regularly ask for permission to land. You resupply with fuel machine parts and electronics and get in exchange for 500 million bucks. If you're an oligarch, you do it up to 850. Um, we'll just refuse that one. That one doesn't really doesn't really help this situation because we don't have much going on. And we don't have the capacity to do a lot at the moment. I need very low machine parts right now and well, fuel I'm not worried about. Oh, that's what I was doing. I was scanning around trying to find Sector is scanned. there another eyeball? Okay. I'm trying to find where we might have that little connector to the underground passage. Oh, this is it, actually. Strange pile of rocks. That's what we're looking for. There's, oh, there's an underground entrance way up there. Can't get to it right now. Is that really the only one I've got my hands on? That's going to be a pain in the ass. Not there. If that really is the only entrance way up there, I'm going to be pissed. I've built my colony way too far away from it to be any use. Wow, this is unfortunate. I'm going to put that at the top of the list. Actually, no. Alright, so we'll do that one, then go to this one. Um, the RC Explorer, I think I lose him when I send him down below. But it's also, I have to freaking get there! Like, once you send him down, which actually... Anomaly found. Get up close and personal with Mars. Right. Rare metal deposit. It's in a good spot for two others, so that'll be very helpful. I'm gonna bring him back, but, oh good. He's actually are going low. doing that project. Let's go ahead, order up one of our free supply pods. I need another RC Explorer. Yeah, and then 15 and 10. That should be good. The British burning through all of our waste rock as it comes Research up. Complete. Becomes available. There we go. Machine parts factory are available. Wait. Okay, 10, 10, and 2. Let's actually consider bringing folks down next. So once Lance 1 comes back, we'll use him. Sector scanned. Okay. I'm going to send him up this way, and it looks like this is part of it. Or this is part of the mystery, too. This could be part of... Uh, I, I don't know what mystery I've selected for this, because I went random. Curious, though. Wow, you are just worthless to me. Getting the 60 out... Getting the 60 rare metals out in time is very tough. Because i got to do two full rockets in the next 10 days, but I'm not producing enough materials to do so. I think this is the... Lazy Martian-born sexy nerd. Wow, you are super helpful. Okay. Gonna bring you down. Unfortunately, the electronics factory... Research complete. Oh, wow. A bunch of things got done up real quick there. Okay, fueled extractors, smart homes. There's storage compression. I thought that one came up a little, a lot sooner than it does, apparently. Yeah, we'll do all those. Work the social tree a little bit. So yeah, 50 power. That's the big pain I have with this one. The electronics factory takes a lot of electronics. It only takes 10 power. That's why I like that one a bit more. 
could also put it over in this dome. Anomaly analyzed. The on-site data validates our predictive model. Research complete. All right, there's the adapted probes. And now, there's that deep scanning I was looking for. Put that at the top, and we're going to deep scan everything up again. Hopefully, now that I have two RC Explorers available, if this actually turns out to be a passage to the underground, I can send this RC Explorer down and keep the other one up top and use the RC Explorer that I'm sending underneath to try to find out what's going on down below the surface. Hmm. It's very difficult for this one to, uh... Huh. Actually, I'm just wondering if there's something more I should have done to get that one done, because it... at this rate, it's not happening. Anomaly can... analyzed. Here we go. The rover manipulators held the Another robotics mineral production. Okay. Huh. Sector Interesting. Scanned. Bloody hell. And I can't do anything with him right now because he's nowhere near it. I guess you have to scan these things first. Oh wait, there's one right here! Ha ha! I missed this guy completely! He was right next to us! Awesome. Potential entry point into the Martian underground is the perfect foundation for an elevator to the underground. With these openings, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually order one of your rovers into it to try to see what's going on down there. I am also thinking, like, maybe I could do one of these excavation projects to create a bunch of waste rock. I've thought about it. It does seem like the high-speed comm satellite mission takes a lot longer than it used to. Got plenty of concrete. We're just waiting on polymers. Let's, uh... Plenty of fuel. It's really just an issue of, I don't have another rocket. I'm annoyed about that. I really am. And since I put a sensor post right there, very close to this thing, we will scan that that much faster. Awesome. We're going to go to the underground before the end of this video. I like it. I also, I'm very torn right now. Uh, like I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm recording this one on the 14th, the same day as part one coming out. If you've already watched part one, thank you. If you haven't, go check it out. Um, went over the hotfix patches notes from September 13th. I'm very, very tempted to... Oh, wow. Oh, there's a breakthrough here, too. Okay. You scan that, you scan that. And there's that third one. Again, new anomalies. It's a bit of a misnomer. We scan that, we're going to go to the underground. Um, I want to keep recording this. I want to record like a week's worth of videos at the same time. And be in a week like five, five videos at once. There's that other side of the coin in that I want to make sure the gameplay is up to date. So this will be the last one I'm recording for this session, probably. If I do end up recording more videos, because I'm just super curious about this game and I want to keep playing it more, I'll let you know in the uh, description for the next video. But I think what I'm going to do is... Found. Ah, here we go. Um, before I go to that, uh, I want to... If new hot fixes are coming out... I want to address them at the start of the video, the next video that's being recorded for it. So this will be the last one for this session. Yeah, it's coming out on Monday, and I am changing up the channel schedule again. Surprise! Um, to move Frostpunk back to Tuesdays, Thursdays, because these videos do very well on the channel. Do Surviving Mars Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Frostpunk Tuesday, Thursday, and RTA and Sources on Saturday. Still trying to figure out what to do for Sunday. I've heard rumors about... Um, some Star Trek titles being remastered and some games I would really love to play again that I used to play as a kid. Yes, I'd like to do those. Um, but I'll wait for the next set of videos. I'll record the this coming Wednesday and Friday's videos this coming this last weekend, which will be the weekend of the 18th, 19th. Do those videos. Hope there's another hot fix. I can go over those in the next video. Let's take a look at the underground. 
we discovered a deep pit that connects to a network of caverns and lava tubes. Our initial scans show some odd readings. We should be able to build an elevator to get vehicles and resources down. The low gravity on Mars allows for much larger lava tubes and caverns than on Earth. Inside, the temperatures are a lot less extreme and they provide protection from hazards on the surface. Because of this, researchers believe life on Mars, if it exists at all, will most likely be found in the underground. The pit is big enough to send one RC explorer down, however it is a one-way trip for now. What should we do? We research the elevator instead. Already did that. Let's send the RC explorer down. Whoop! The RC explorer contacted us by radio. It arrived safely. We should follow it. Enter the underground by clicking the new icon in the bottom right corner. So RC explorer 1 is now missing. Um, let's grab this anomaly, and then we'll go down. I'm at the 30-minute mark. This episode's going to be a little bit longer. Sorry. i to make sure we get that going, too. And, of course, want to bring up some folks as well. Oh! I just noticed the prefab stuff. The forestation plant, micro-G auto extractor, and GHG factories. GHG factories is good for raising the Martian temperature as well. Breakthrough discovered. Multi-spot. Oh, my God, Yes! The explorer made a thorough scan of the anomaly site. I don't know why we keep getting like notifications every time they do. Some most times it does, but multi-spiral architecture for three thousand, I can get oval domes, elongated dome which has space for two spires. With all these new spires that we're getting, this is going to be pretty kick-ass. So I'll go ahead and research that as well. Let's go to the underground and see what's going on. Hey, look, Another it's my cover time. photo. We found some water. Uh, underground Mars quake. So it looks like there's a cave-in over here. We can't see a lot, obviously, because we're underground. Um, let's drive around a little bit. And, of course, there's very little to, you can see. Here's another cave-in. I'll need to excavate that, and I can do that with drones. A metals deposit has been located down here. Some very high-quality water. Another cave-in. So if I do end up coming down here... Oh, wow. Um, okay, I'm not going to scan all this this video, because I just want to give you an idea what we got to look at. And, of course, the little light pods, um, those little light tripods, those will actually give you vision and maintain vision while we're down here. Wow, we're actually able to explore a lot further than I expected. Probably use an RC dozer for that project. Another one? Wow. Okay, then. Looks like an, yep, another cave-in. That's fine. But we also can see there's a lot of stuff we can explore. So next video, we're going to scan all the stuff in the underground. And you have to Sector do that scan. to go back up to the top. We found more metals available. So Hey is going to be busy for quite a while. We'll keep scanning out the map. At some point, we are going to need to put something over here. Especially, if anything, it's just going to be a tunnel to this. And just to connect the power and the cables with the rest of the colony. But... Next video, hopefully we'll get the high-speed comm satellite done up. We're going to try to... Well, we're not going to make it. We're definitely not uh, going to make that goal because we only have 30 rare metals available. And I need to export 60 by soul. Soul 30? Is that what it said? Yeah. Yeah, no way in hell. No way in hell that's happening. But I'm also going to pull these guys back. We're going to rescan everything around the colony site. That's going to wrap it up for this video, though. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. We're going to keep exploring the underground.